Audio Jungle. and I work for a company called PaySafe and I'm the VP of Sales and Operations for the Digital Wallets division of this company. It's a company with over 2,000 uh, employees all over the world and it's got a big office in Bulgaria as well. Mr. Bosio, uh, in your opinion, cross-border payments and uh, what are the challenges of a gaming provider with a global audience? Well, payments uh, are very diversified depending on, on the markets and depending on the countries and the geographies. So today it's a very big challenge for merchants to keep up with all the different payment options that are available out there. The direction that these companies uh, are taking today to address payment needs of the users is to try to uh, centralize their providers. And there's companies out there, and I will discuss about this today at the conference, that they can address these needs of customers and make sure that they have all of the different payment methods that are becoming popular in different markets. And uh, how can a payment provider become a strategic marketing partner rather than just a payment channel? So this is an interesting question because always uh, in the past uh, uh, gambling companies for example have underestimated uh, how uh, payment companies do customer acquisition and how can they uh, convert customers to make them payment customers, successful payment customers. So if uh, companies cooperate with payment methods then that means they can um, optimize the way that customers are paying, uh, get more uh, customers that are successful in their payment transactions and definitely having a closer relation with the payment methods means that they can study more uh, marketing campaigns that go in this direction. Audio